So can you tell me a bit about how you landed your first job? How was your experience? Um, so I landed my first job by reference from my friend. She was actually my senior who later turned out to be my friend after we worked together for a long time. Uh, so that is a good pointer. It helps out a lot, you know, being in touch with your seniors, seeing where they work. You can always ask them to drop a referral for you. So uh, she just dropped a referral in their portal and I got a call, landed the interview, got the job. Okay. Any preparation that you did for it? Uh, I would say read the job description, see what you're applying for, mm -hmm. make sure the key phases that like are highlighted in the job description are a part of your CV mm -hmm. while they screen it and make sure you know what those phases mean. Mm -hmm. So a lot of questions would revolve around that. If you're a fresher, they'll ask you your basic knowledge of pharmacy, they'll test your basic knowledge of pharmacy because they know you haven't worked in the industry before, so they know you are not familiar with the concepts. So just make sure whatever you have been studying, go through everything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's all you can prepare for. Okay. So that was your first, uh, like you tried for a job, you got it? Yeah. Like any failure stories or anything like that? I actually was rejected for the job I applied for, but then I got it after I interviewed for it a second time. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, uh, like you've been working in the pharma industry for 5-6 years now. So, uh, how different is it uh, like when you, st when, you when you initially started out and now that you're working after 5-6 years, what would you say the difference is? Uh, more than the difference, I would say 5-6 uh, years has given me a lot of exposure. Like once you get into the field, you understand different avenues where you can work. Uh, if it's a company where they allow you to, you know, uh, sort of have inter-project uh, roles, like, you know, if you work on a project and there's an opening in another project and, you know, you can shift there and then come back to what you do. So, such uh, events give you a lot of exposure and you'll understand all the different avenues where you can work. Mm -hmm. You'll find something more interesting like, okay, this is what I'm doing, but that is something more interesting and I want to go work into that next. So next job you would apply with the closer kind of job description to what you want to work right. for. Right. So, you know, I would suggest like the first job you can just do whatever comes your way. From that, you'll understand where you can go next. Mm -hmm. It's not an amazing salary, but uh, it grows exponentially once you're in the field. Okay. 